I'm sure you're aware that the quality of mobile games has uh, diminished a little bit since the early 2010s. But that could just be a back in my day thing. I haven't downloaded a mobile app that isn't for a free trial of a streaming service in like five years. But I remember even all that time ago, whenever I would go and try and find a specific game, every single result below and around it would always be some kind of shitty knockoff of it that I am amazed Apple allows on their store. So I wrote down a list of older games that I actually liked and then scoured the app store for the first time in 20 years for knockoff versions of them, and I am only a little bit concerned at how easy it was to find all of these. I am not mentally prepared for the amount of advertising I'm about to be subjected to. The first of these is Subway Skating Surfers 3D. This one doesn't even have any reviews or ratings, which is always a good sign. This one works fine enough sometimes. It just looks like Subway Surfers of every single thing was from the first page of free assets from the Unity store. I do love that it immediately launches you into an ad after you die. Not even a second to realize that you fucked up. It's just immediately, bam, here's some life insurance. At least give you some time to process, man. The only real changes from what it's ripping off is that you're being chased by a JPEG of a polar bear instead of a policeman, and that your character is skiing because presumably that way they didn't have to make a running animation. Unfortunately, it won't even let me string together sick combos like this mid edge train switch I attempted. And look, I don't want to sound nitpicky, but you gotta love the moving trains clipping straight through the barricades. I'm not going to lie to you and say I played this for any longer than five minutes, but it's very hard to tell what is and isn't going to kill you. You collect coins just like in Subway Surfers 2, but I'm not sure if you can actually buy anything. Like, I couldn't find a shop anywhere, unless the ads are covering it. Then there is, uh, Angry Cog. <laughs> Family, huh? You sure about that one? I am like genuinely afraid to download this. After installing the game though, the name changed on my home screen to Secular Chick, which sounds like a disease. Unfortunately, the actual game isn't as hilarious as its name. It's just an even more basic version of Angry Birds that feels like something you'd only find on one of those free unblocked game websites that somehow made it through your school internet filter. Unlike Angry Birds, there isn't a limit to how many birds you can launch though, which means you can do this. So I'm like really good at this game. I'm honestly surprised that Angry Cock of all things is one of the most functional games I'm going to talk about in this video. The best part of any of these though is just reading the reviews on the app store. Lovely game made me forget about the abandonment of my family and my dog dying of cancer. Five stars. I poopy died my pant by poopy farts dicks. The other Angry Birds knockoff I found was Angry Doos. Twenty fourteen truly was a better time. Pretty terrible game, but I think it deserves five stars. Yeah. Plants vs. Goblins 4. They they made four of these? The only review for this one just says horrible. Horrible. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a good one. The plants we're given to choose from right from the get-go are like a strawberry that looks like it's from annoying orange, a deflated sunburnt pea shooter, and what is that, Long Sensei Wu? Before. And that is just straight up the walnut from the original game. They didn't even try. And maybe it's just my phone, but I love that the plants don't even fit on the fucking screen. They didn't change anything about the functions of the plants, though. The strawberries are obviously your sunflower replacement because that makes just as much sense. Everything else does exactly the same thing as its non-bootleg counterpart. Like in the second level, instead of the cherry bomb, you're given just a stick of dynamite, not even as a plant or anything. <laughs> I did learn that I fucking suck at this game, though. But don't worry, you can just watch a video for 200 sun. Awesome. I feel good about this. My favorite part, though, is that watching the video doesn't pause the game. So when I finished sitting through the ad, I had like a million goblins all over the screen, and then I lost. I'm sure the rest of the plants are really funny, but man, there is no way I'm playing all of these. I'm sure you are very much aware of the millions of Flappy Bird spin-offs that were made when the original got taken off the store. Personally, my go-to was Splashy Fish, which was just as shit as the original game. Out of the trillion I saw on the App Store, though, I think my favorite one was just called Bird Flying. Not a single fuck give it over here. I also found a Flappy Crush that promises you can play as the pipe and kill the birds yourself. I cannot even begin to tell you how therapeutic this is for me after all these years. For the first time ever, I can get a score with more than one digit in a Flappy Bird game. Murder Around Us. <laughs> These fucking names. This one doesn't even let me get to the title screen without giving me an ad awesome, and it puts me in a game with four other totally real players. It's cool because they give you ads during the vote, so you just miss the entire round. Green, what, what's your problem, Green? 
But before we can continue, have you ever heard about the wonderful mobile app Raid Shadow Legend? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I got you though. These things don't just stop with being ripoffs of mobile games though, don't worry. They expanded their empire to taking on console games too. I can't even begin to tell you how many GTA knockoffs there are. Grand Gangster Vice Town Crime by Incredible Life Thug Gang. This game is so bad, do not download. Alright, sounds good. The opening cutscene of this game is a masterclass of visual storytelling. What does this mean? I gotta say, I am only a little bit surprised that this doesn't look anything like the App Store screenshots. You can fly in this though, at the fucking speed of light apparently, but I couldn't work out how to stop flying though, so I guess he's just going to be like this forever now. Because this one doesn't have any levels or anything to break up the gameplay, you kind of just get hit with ads whenever the game feels like it which is about every five seconds. You literally can't click on anything or you get hit with an ad. God, I love mobile games. I kept randomly getting sent to upgrade screens in a map, which seems to imply that there actually is a game in here somewhere, but it wouldn't let me play it for any longer than 20 seconds before it promoted some sniper game or some shit. So unfortunately, I cannot verify whether that's true or not. Anyway, yeah, great game, definitely recommend. A grand tough guy in Miami. Well, if anything, this one wins my favorite name of the bunch. In this, you play as a security guard in a world where everyone sounds like they're in a Gmod voice chat. Fucking loser. <laughs> mom is so fat. This one actually lets you get into and drive the cars. Sometimes. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's just as bad with the ads, though. I, I literally, like, left my guy standing there so I could take some notes, and it still played an ad. Fucking, do I get to play? I think this is the one that has the most amount of functional content, but the ads also go for like twice as long as every other game, so it's not a great combination. I saved the best till last, of course. Granny Gangster Drug Mafia. This might actually be the first good game on the App Store. This is a revolutionary mobile game because I was actually able to play it for longer than a minute without getting interrupted by an ad. In fact, I didn't get any ads for a while, and even when I did, it actually gives you a heads up when it's about to throw one at you, which is... Strangely cool. Obviously the only major difference in this one and every other GTA wannabe is that you play as a roided up grandma with key abilities. This one also lets you fly, but I think that makes her go into cardiac arrest or something. Whenever cars pass you, it comes up with a prompt to steal it, but if you press it while it's still moving, this happens. I'm not pressing anything, by the way. Some of the AI is also a bit... Unfortunately, I kind of overdid it with the flying ability and got stuck in a bush forever, but hey, this one was fun while it lasted. With Fortnite being taken off the App Store, several hundred pretenders to the throne now clog up the search results for it, but I had to go through quite a few of these before any of them would actually let me play. Like, Fight Squad Battle Royale. Actually incredible that the first thing I see upon opening the game is an ad to play the real Fortnite. 1v1 LOL didn't even let me make it past the title screen, so I am fairly confident my phone has now contracted several viruses, but it was grand Battle Royale of all things with its slightly off-brand Minecraft art style that was the winner, even though I'm pretty sure this one is more PUBG than Fortnite. This one works just like how I think Fortnite and PUBG work, where you jump off a plane into a large map and within five seconds of touching the ground you get shot in the face by someone whose username is ProGamer. I will give this one some credit, the game works and is almost fun. Maybe if I was 10 years old and my mom had banned me from playing violent video games but didn't monitor my phone, then this would be my shit. You don't even get any ads until after each round ends, so as long as you just quit the game after you get killed, you should be fine. Your default skin is a middle-aged man and a wife beater, but obviously the people I was playing against played this a lot more than me because I came across a whole lot of other questionably legal skins. This is the only one in this video that I actually wanted to play for more than five minutes, so I'm sure that's got to count for something. Of course, I can't do a video like this without looking at a Minecraft knockoff. Realmcraft 3D. I found this other one, Dracomon, but I'm not really sure what this one is inspired by. Hello, Jeff, and welcome to Dragonia, the world of Dracomon. I'm PR Koji, and I've dedicated my entire life to the study of copyright infringement. Pretty soon after that, the game gives you your first choice of starter, and... 
Oh my god. I'm picking the turtle because I'm not sure that thing is going to survive out there by itself. And they follow you around too. Uh, uh. Dracomon is unsurprisingly almost one-to-one -one with its very subtle inspiration, but I don't quite remember being interrupted by minute-long ads in between each battle. Like as if random encounters in the wild weren't annoying and time-consuming enough, you now also have to sit through a full-length commercial every time. Also in this children's game, I got an ad for a game called Weed City where you run a drug empire. Okay, that's kind of hilarious, actually. All of the other creatures just look like fucked up Digimon, though. Instead of Pokeballs, you have Taming Stones, which is like a rock you use to brainwash other creatures into loving you, which somehow feels considerably more messed up to me than just hurling a ball at them. Where did he go? I have to say though, rip off or not, it's actually kind of impressive what they were able to do with this. Eventually the constant ads did wear me down, but I almost feel like there's actually a full game in here. And there is a premium version of the game available that the game actually interrupts you with a vision from one of the game's developers to tell you about. So the game's most annoying issue is something that's solvable at least, but it does lull you into a false sense of security because the second you get out of the beginning town, every opponent you fight will obliterate you. Like the second guy I encountered in the wild killed my entire entire party in two moves. There is nothing behind those cute murderous eyes. But that's about as far as I got. Look, I'm not a game dev, but I'm pretty sure bombarding the player every five minutes with an ad for a different mobile app that isn't this one is maybe a bit counterproductive in some way. Anyway, thankfully that's about all of them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.